There he is, guys. There he is. Oh, big one. Oh, one. Big one. Double up. Double up. No way. Double up for the final fish. Oh, yes. Whoever touches the first wins. Oh, my rod. I'm on the bank. I win. I touched it first. I'm on the bank. <laughs> what is up, guys? I am Texas reeling. Hola, mi amo. Jason. When this guy learned Spanish. And today, we're going to be doing the Cinco de Mayo fishing challenge. We're gonna go to Walmart, buy Cinco de Mayo color only baits, rod, reel, everything, Cinco de Mayo colors. We're gonna bring you guys along. Then we're gonna come out here and do a challenge. First one to catch five fish on their rod, reel combo and their baits that they get from Walmart wins the Cinco de Mayo challenge. You guys stay tuned, hit that subscribe button if you haven't hit it yet. If you guys are enjoying these challenges, let me know down in the comments. I'm gonna keep them coming. You guys stay tuned. Well guys, we just made it into Walmart. Um, so we're going to pick any baits that are color coordinated with Cinco de Mayo, rod, reel, line, whatever we can find that has the colors of Cinco de Mayo, which would be red, white, and uh, green. So anything that is in those colors or close to it, you can grab. No budget. Let's get it. Here we go. Here's a 998 Zepco for you. Oh, man. Look at that white one. That's, all the That's neat. I think I might go. I'm gonna go cheap and waste more on my baits. Uh, oh, look at this. I like this spinning reel. This reel. Oh, it's kind of short though. It is kind of short. I was just looking at this one. Hey, that's kind of short. That's a hard one. Oh, I don't see it. Oh, that's nice. 40 bucks for that little thing? I thought it was nine. Jeez. So it's pretty much, unless you're willing to waste a fortune, is between those and this one. I think we find our match. I got an idea. How about we agree that we both get the same combo? Well, we don't have much to But we won't get, yeah, there is, but they're way too expensive, guys. We're not gonna waste that kind of crazy money for this challenge. Um, we'll get the same combo, different baits. Agree? Agree. Let's do it. All right, so I'm trying to debate which way I wanna go with the baits. We gotta keep it in the color, the white. Oh, white I think would be the easiest color. The red and the green is gonna be the trickier part. How about we do this? You have to get one of each at least. You can't just get everything white or everything. We have to find the closest you can possibly get to green. I'm gonna try to get my green one out the way because I feel like finding the green one is gonna be the hardest. Hey, these are on sale for a buck. You know what guys, I'm going, I'm going with this green lizard. I think this will catch me some. This is about as green as it can get right here. So is that your options right now for green and red? These are my possibilities. All right, well I've got the red. This is what I'm gonna go with. Then I've got my green, it is my lizard. I need my whites, which is gonna be the easy one. Cause I'm probably gonna go something like paddle tail or something flukish. Flukish. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna switch it up. I'm going on rage swimmers. We're gonna switch it up on this one. I never throw these out at the pond, so give it a shot. Well, oh. I think I'm gonna do this. Those three right there is your option. Going once, going twice, sold. We finally finished picking our baits. It took us longer than I thought it was because we had a hard time finding baits. But we got, we both got about three baits each, one of each color. We've got the same rod and reel combo. We're gonna go get out to the pond, start the challenge. I'll see you guys there. All right, let's get this on show on the road, Mr. Hassan. Oh, no, wait, no. You
First off, this bad boy right here. Come on now. There's some big bass in here in this place. So I think this I saw in here, it comes with like 10 pound line. Yep. 110 yards of 10 pound line gear ratio. Listen to this. 281. Woo! Talk about a talk about a real speed demon. You know, to be honest, I think this is gonna be the hardest bait for me. So I'm actually gonna start with this one, guys. This whole chat, it looks freaking sweet, not gonna lie. I'm starting with it too. Are you? Yep. Yours is the white one though. I love white chatter baits. I've never really thrown the crawl ones just because I've never had I threw I have thrown them in the past. I just never had luck with them. So I kind of stayed away from them. But today is the day, mi amigos. One other thing. Um you gotta speak Spanish throughout the whole video. See. There we go. All right. Deuces. Vamanos. He's out. I'm out, guys. We are gonna get to fishing. Let's go. <laughs> gotta get the drag set on the old slingshot, as they call it. Oh man, just this three eighth ounce is freaking put in a bend in the rod already. <laughs> oh, it, it zips out there. I know that. Oh, there's some fish shooting out right here. This thing real super slow, so I really got to crank this thing. Oh, it looks freaking sweet. It is, it is really hard to chunk it. Harder than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. I don't know why I don't throw this chatterbait more often. This thing looks so freaking fire. You get what I did there? It's called the fire crawl? Yeah. Yeah. This uh, rod and reel is not fire. Oh my gosh. I can't even catch this freaking thing. There was a bass cruising through here and I thought I'd be able to get him, but we're having casting issues here. Oh, there's a basser. Little old green back looking at my bait. He seemed a little interested. Oh! Woo! Yep. He got it out for me because I'll be talking trash about him. Yeah, he tried to he tried to get me, but I moved. If I wouldn't have moved, my leg would have been in half right now. Challenge over. <laughs> it's over Challenge over. <laughs> it's old rod flew in the water. <laughs> That's when you're gonna hook one too, watch. There's another snake right there. He just there he is. I don't know. Two two snakes in five minutes, zero fish, a broken rod. Challenge accepted. We on one, boys. We on one, boys. We on one, boys. We own one! No way. No way, he got one. Damn. Not too snappy. Fish number one. That is a spawned out female. Catch your own. Catch your own. <laughs> I'm cutting the line. There's the one right there. I don't know if she's still on it or not. Oh. 
Oh, it's looking at yours too. Oh no, it's going towards it. Sucker. Right here. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh no, no, I need some more. No. Oh. Let's go. Get on the back. Oh, he's ripped. Yes. Yes. Oh. Let's go, baby. Biggin. Biggin. Oh, I barely had him hooked. Oh, let's go. The chatterbait. Bam. <laughs> it's it's on now, brother. <laughs> Me and Jason already know where all the fish hang out. So we're both like racing to the same spots on every challenge. <laughs> That's funny. That was fun, but almost not fun. Right? I'm gonna go. Good old Texas rig. Here we go, guys. I'm putting on my green. This lizard is crazy. It looked like they dipped it in that glow. Glow in the dark. <laughs> Just like, you know what? Just stick the whole lizard in the bottle and send them out. All right, guys, so we did a little Texas rig. Got the green lizard tied on. I think this is gonna kill him. Got a good feeling about the Texas rig. I'm a lot more confident in the Texas rig than I am in the in that red chatterbait. The red chatterbait actually has always made me struggle. Even when I've, when I've thrown it in the past, I've always struggled with it. I don't know why I ended up buying it, but I was able to catch a fish on it. That was gonna be my, my struggle bait, I think. So I got that out the way. Let's, See if we can get a couple on this lizard and got it really light Texas rig. Can't go too heavy with it because there's so much grass in here right now. You guys can see all in front of me the grass is just thick. It's that slimy grass too that gets it's real hard to take off your hook. So I kind of went light to try to just maybe punch it just through that grass just enough for it to trigger a bite or two. I missed them guys I freaking missed them oh no the hook set on this is so hard oh what a cast with the Zevco boy I'm dropping dimes there he is there he is oh he came off on me oh Come on. I got to see him first. There he is. There he is. Little guy eating big food. Yes, sir. That's a fish on the so-called red. That counts. Uh, we're in a pond. It counts. There he is, guys. Let's go. Oh, my drag's way too low. I, I gotta get on. I gotta go over here because I can't both flip them. This is like eight pound, ten pound line. Look at the rod. In the, <laughs> look at the rod bending. Get out of here, snakes. I don't got time for you. Oh, let's go, baby. All right, let's go. Tied up ball game. Things are getting chippy. 
Oh, oh I had him a good. I had him good. There we go, guys. He's actually pretty healthy. We've been catching some lately that have been really skinny. That one actually has a good little belly on it. All right. All right, I changed my mind. I was going to keep fishing with the lizard, but I'm actually going to just switch it up and try to knock my last bait out. And then from there, keep just um keep trying to catch them and get my five in. I'm going to throw on a little underspin. Let's try... Let's try this underspin right here. I'm gonna put on one of these old underspins. I mean, one of these rage, what are they, rage swimmers? And the white. Which earlier, Jason was throwing a white chatterbait and he was getting a ton of followers. But an underspin and a chatterbait are two different, two different things. So we'll see if they react a little bit better to this underspin than they were to that chatterbait because he caught one on it but they would follow him all the way to the bank and just kind of leave so we're gonna go chunk that around take a few extra baits with us in our in our cargo pockets here just in case we want to switch it up you what that shade feels pretty good right now i don't even want to fish right here but i do because of the shade i want to go to the dam Oh, there he is. He picked it up all right. He picked it up. He's about to snap my rod, but oh, that, that'll be my third bait. Get him out the grass. Oh, yeah. They eating over here. Jason, they eating over here. You hear what I'm telling you? Uh -huh. I've got two of them. You hear what I'm telling you, old son? Look at that one. bam oh yeah so now i can pretty much fish with whatever i want now because i've got my baits knocked out so that is three to two and i am on to the finish line i swear the top of this rod was almost touching the bottom of it back in my day when i was your age this is all all i used to use was zepco so i'm a pro at this you bring it with you you gotta go grab that. I know you want me to leave this area, but <laughs> that ain't gonna work. <laughs> you look thirsty, my friend. You you look a little dehydrated. You might wanna go. You wanna you might grab that cream soda. This is gonna be a fish right here. She's about to come out that grass and smack it. Told you. Oh, he came off. Oh, I called that one too. I don't think I want to fish any other part of the pond now. I'm catching fish, getting bites. Sitting in the shade. I ain't doing a But did it turn off? Yeah. Oh. There he is. Oh, Jason, you are in trouble. Stay on, stay on. Oh, he's going to spit it. He's going to spit it. I can't keep up with him. He's moving too fast. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, right at the back. Oh, get out. Oh. I touched him. He counts. He counts. He counts. He counts. Oh, that was so close. Oh, Jason was waiting for him to go back in the water. He's you officially got to touch him for him to actually yeah. count. Oh, that was so close. Don't mean Can I get a replay? <laughs> Thank you for playing, bud. Woo. Oh, man. That was a close one, guys. That was too close to call. Yep, yeah, I think they would have got the flute. Whitelist. I got a little breathing room right now. I got. Oh, he's in trouble. That might be game over. He came off. That was a big cast. No way. No. That would have finished it, guys. 
as soon as it hit the freaking water. There he is. Come on, get up here. Don't mind me, just walking down through. Don't mind me. <laughs> Dang it. That's a solid one. Yeah, he choked it too. Maybe. Ah, yeah. one. Not bad. Still not very healthy. Well, that's half a fish for me because I have to get the hook out. Wow. Well, that's how that works. Four to three. Next, next one wins it for me. Two more for Jason. It might just come down to the wire because if he gets on that wacky worm bite, or not the wacky worm, but a weightless bite, it can definitely turn things around quick. He's about to get it. Oh! He's about to get it, guys. Come on. There's one. Next fish wins, guys. Oh yes, there he is, there he is, yes, stay on baby, stay on, oh that's a good one, he's pulling drag, oh I can't move him, no he came off, no, oh he got me in the grass and came off, yes sir, oh, how was that salad? <laughs> yeah. It don't taste very good without the dressing. There he is, guys. There he is. Oh, big one. Oh, one. Big one. Double up. Double up, no way! Double up for the final fish! Yes! Whoever touches the first wins! Oh, my rod! I'm on the bank! I win! I touched it first! I'm on the bank! <laughs> No freaking way! The, the the odds of this happening is crazy. 
My pole broke. My line burnt to me. Got popped in the leg. Guys, we cannot make the ending up. We have been struggling, both of us, to catch our last fish. And we literally hooked it at the exact same time. Reeled it in at the same time. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was, that was the most intense moment of 2023. Vamanos, amigo. Vamanos. We're going to have to go based off of who's is bigger. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, I see it. I see it. Uh, wow. Snapped the rod. There's no way in the world we could have made this ending up. Hit me in the leg. Wow. Burnt the crap out of my finger. The line or something did. Well, guys, we are going to let these beauties go and get back with you in just a second. Once we get situated and the adrenaline goes down. <laughs> this was insane. Oh. Couldn't have finished any different. Yeah, we got line wrapped around me. Well, guys, we made it back to the truck. Talk about the most, and that was freaking intense down to the very last wire. We were kind of both moping our heads down over there, yeah. just casting after cast, hooking at the same exact time. That's insane. It's freaking insane. That was the best ending that we could have possibly had. So, me and Jason have been doing a ton of challenges. I think we've got like five right now that we've done against each other. So we're our record is I've won two, he's won two, and we tied that one. We call that one an even tie because um, it was just I mean you couldn't have planned it out any better. So we're gonna we're gonna chalk that one up as a tie. Definitely. Maybe do a rematch later on in the future with a budget maybe or something like that. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Hope you subscribe. Hope you hit that like button, all that good stuff. You guys know what to do. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.